Hey guys, how's it going? Joseph here, welcome back to the channel. So a lot of you guys have been asking me to make a video about how gaming looks on this big screen. I did a video uh, about the review on this screen not too long ago. This is the XY ambient light reflection screen. And I'm playing right now Gears of War 5, the technical demo, which was available this last weekend. And if you didn't get a chance to play this demo, my God, you guys should have another second chance coming up, I think, on this coming weekend. So anyways, I just wanted to show you how this ambient light reflection looks from XY screens. And my God, guys. And I, uh, let me tell you right now, I have, I'm recording this video during the day. So there's some ambient light coming up, coming up through my blinds. And also, I'm going to show you how the, if this video looks with the lights on. So let me just turn on the light real quick. There you go. This is with the lights on and the performance from this screen is incredible. It's amazing. This game also looks really, really good and it's a lot of fun. Let me show you some multiplayer gameplay right now. Hold on just a second. So here I have some multiplayer action in this game. And let me tell you, it's absolutely beautiful. It's a very bright image. Looks very clean and clear. I have the lights off right now. Let me turn them back on so you guys can see the difference. I really like to do this test with the lights on and off because it is very hard to find a, a good projector and a good screen performing under light, different light environments. and e what you want from a projector is to have a good image under any circumstances because you don't know if it's going to be a bright day you don't know if it's going to be a, a light in the room for the most part you want to use a projector in a dark room that's the best but you also want to be able to have uh, uh, something that works in any environment just like a tv you know the biggest advantage of a projector of course is, is that you're able to increase the size of your screen some of these projectors can go from 100 inch up to 300 inches in this case i'm using this screen this is 80 inch but you can also buy a 100 inch or a 120 inch something like this 80 inch ambient light reflection screen it'll cost about around 650 dollars then if you want 100 inch it's about 800 dollars so the difference is not much I don't know the price of for the 120 inch, but I will definitely leave some information right here in the description of this video. You can contact XY Screens and they will give you all that information. So let's jump into another another map from this game, guys. All right, so this is another multiplayer map that was available right here in this this technical demo from Gears of War 5, and this is a more darker map. So I just wanted also to show you and to see how this dark images look on this screen. And I gotta tell you, I mean, even though with the lights on, you're still able to have this very clear image, which is very, very positive, I like that. Let me turn off the lights so you guys can appreciate more. Like I said, of course, this is much better. The colors are gonna pop up even better when you have a dark environment for projectors. Now, the, one of the biggest difference and advantages from this screen is that the, the type of screen there is, this is, has, uh, it's called a PET, crystal clear. So what it is, it's like it has a, a, an angular uh, screen in the back that takes the light from the bottom of the projector. The, the ultra short laser projectors are usually situated at the bottom. So the light is coming from the bottom instead of a front facing projector. So this has a little tiny, what can you say, like a little tiny angular bends in the, in the screen. So it's adapted or designed for this type of projectors. Now there's different ones out there, but uh, the other ones, the other brands that I noticed, they're very expensive. They start from about $1,200, $1,300. They can go up to five thousand dollars it's just incredibly crazy expensive so if you're looking for I already have a 4k ultra short throw laser projector and you're looking to improve your image this is one of the best screens that you can invest your money on now on this game 
What I'm playing, what you're seeing right now is actually a video that I recorded of some gameplay. I recorded in 4K through my Xbox One X. Uh, the reason being is because this projector is not really good with the input lag. So I don't recommend gaming on this projector. This type of games like uh, first person shooters or in this case a third person shooter. Something that is require a lot of precision. I would, would not recommend this projector. I do recommend this projector in if you're playing offline like uh, single player games. Now that's a different story. You will not feel much uh, of the input lag. So let me jump into a single player game. Oh, what is this? It's gonna be a... Uh, oh, they got me again. Let's jump into a single player game, guys. Alright guys, so I connected right here actually. I'm playing uh, what is this? Oh, Red Dead Redemption 2. <laughs> I haven't played this game in a while, but look at this. It looks beautiful. And of course, this game has HDR, and also this projector does support HDR. So let me just show you in the game menus real quick. We're going to go into, what is it? Oh, right over here. Then I'm going to go into settings, display. I show you my HDR calibration numbers. I haven't changed anything. So this is I'm using HDR game. Big brightness is at 2000. Paper white is at 400. So these are the settings that I'm using. You guys might may be familiar with this. Let's go back again. And my, well, this game looks beautiful. And right now the scenery here it's it's a little foggy. So you might notice that the image is probably gonna look a little bit just like washed out but it's it's not from the the screen or the projector this is how it is right now it's just the scenery is a little foggy but if you're familiar with this game you know what I mean there is a bit of input lag there is a bit of a lot of input lag <laughs> let me show you right now real quick guys so let me let me shoot, look look at this. That's how much input lag there is in this projector. So I, it is hard for me to recommend this projector for gaming. You know, look at this. <laughs> let me try another game. Well, while the projector is not good for every game, there's some games that are really enjoyable here. In this case, I'm playing Assassin's Creed Odyssey, and I do not feel any input lag issues. And on top of that, this game looks absolutely beautiful. Look at this palm trees. I feel like I'm just at home right here in San Diego. But uh, yeah, the response on this game is really good, so you're not gonna have any problems while playing Assassin's Creed or there's some other games that do not have any issues with input lag but as I said I, I, I don't recommend this projector specifically for gaming hopefully they are able to fix that issue because I noticed that every 4k most of the 4k HDR projectors out there right now they have problems with input lag so I don't know I wouldn't recommend those kind for gaming on a large screen I probably suggest something like a 1080p. I remember I review a uh, BenQ gaming projector about a year ago. Holy macro. And also I have another 1080p projector that I'm working on that is probably going to be good for gaming. 1080p projectors are much better for that. Alright guys, so that's it for this video. Thank you so much for stopping by. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. I'm Joster and I'll see you guys on the next one. Joster out. Good, good.